Next, we want to apply the knit texture onto the garment. I will come over here to the library window and click on the plus sign here. And I'm going to navigate to my fabric folder and double click on it and right here, click on this folder right there and then come over here and click on open. And come over here to the library tab once again and double click on that fabric folder. So if you guys are interested in knit texture, click on the link below. So I'm going to simply use this blue one. Click, drag and then drop onto the garment. All right, then I'm going to click on OK. So after that, I will come over here to Object Browser and click on that fabric. I want to create a copy here. Then I'm going to simply click on the one by one rib fabric and then drag onto that copy one. I'm going to change that to one by one rib. Then here I'm going to change this to cable. And I'm going to simply my key select all these hem right here and then apply that rib onto it. The same with this neckband, click and then apply that one by one rib fabric onto it. And then we want to change a couple of things here guys. Let's zoom in. So I'm going to my key select this neckband and come over here to this fabric texture tool here in 3D toolbar. And we want to click and then drag. So you can drag until you see this blue and then gray, okay? Or black how you like and create this perfect neckband. And I'm going to do the same here. Simply my key selects all these sleeve cuff and hem and then come over here, click on that texture tool and I'm going to simply click and then drag until I see this. So by the way guys, this is a little bit of gray and this is black. I can also rotate this and then turn all gray or leave it as black like that will be fine too. And as you can see right here, it worked really well. So next, we want to do a couple more things here. The natural knit, let's hide the avatar so we get to see. It's going to have a little bit of shrinkage right here to create this kind of snug. The same with here, we will apply the elastic onto this. As well as we will apply the fabric property onto the garment. So first, let's apply the elastic. Click right here and then press on shift. Click right here. So let's zoom in. We want to click just the top part, okay? Just that top line right there. Come down here to the property editor. Turn on this elastic right there. And then 10 by 80 is perfect. Let's simulate first and then see what it looks like. Okay, so as you can see right here, it's now kind of shrink it in. Let's stop the simulation and then turn on the avatar and see what it looks like. So now it looks so perfect. And that is the next. We want to apply different value. Elastic down here and hem. So I'm going to come down here and then let's click on the bottom right there. Right here, press on shift right here. And then come to the property editor, turn on elastic. We want to change this to two. And then come down here. We want to change this to 95. And then press on the tab key. After that, I will click on the simulation icon to simulate. Let's stop the simulation. Next, we want to apply the physical property onto that fabric. So to do so, I will come over here to object browser. First, click on this cable and scroll down under the property editor to physical property. We want to change the preset to knit French Terry one and then one by one rib. We will click on that fabric and then once again, under the physical property, we want to change that to knit rib one. This one by one rib. Let's simulate one more time and see how it affects. That is much better. After that, let's stop the simulation and we want to change the particle distance to 10. I will change the tool to transform pattern tool. My key selects all the pattern pieces. Come over here to the property editor and we want to change the particle distance to 10. And then press on the return enter on the keyboard to confirm. Next, let's simulate one more time, guy. And I can see right there, the garment getting better and better. Okay, then you're designing star. I hope you guys found the video helpful. And remember to follow me on Encoder Fashion for more awesome videos like this. Thanks for watching, guys!